So you have been here how many days? I got here yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Oh, so this is your next? First day. First day here? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And, and you're I... alone? You don't have a boat guard here? Nah. You're okay? You could kill me right now. <laughs> yeah, I can shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to Nairobi. It's another day after yesterday's absolute mayhem. If you didn't see the last video, please go check it out and you'll understand why I'm happy to be alive, at least is a good way to say it. Anyway guys, today uh, I'm gonna get an Uber out of this neighborhood because like I mentioned in the last video, apparently it's not even safe to walk around here during the day, especially with a camera. Maybe without a camera, but not with one. So I arrived here very late last night, was told by the Uber driver, very dangerous neighborhood, advised me not to spend a lot of time in it. I'm gonna take his advice, I'm not gonna test anything. I'm gonna go into the city and explore Nairobi and uh, see what we can come across. And then I'll come back and show you this Airbnb and I'll share with you how much it costs and, and things like that. Anyway guys, let's go and head into the city and explore Nairobi. First full day in Kenya, so let's do this. Check out the view from my room. Looks busy out there. Thanks. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello. Alright guys, so I've arrived at something called the Convention Center, the Kenyatta Convention Center. So hopefully I'm uh, going to go to the top of this and get an epic view of Nairobi. You can see the streets there super packed. An armed guard like walked me to the road and he would not leave me until I got into the Uber. So that area of town I think is really not good, but now I'm in the center I think it's a bit more safe. It's only like 600 meters away but apparently there's a wall that separates that kind of dodgy area where I'm staying somehow um, from the CBD. And they said the, the worst thing here is pickpockets but um, they shouldn't do anything more than that so hopefully they're right and everything goes well but we'll go up this tower. Alright so I just paid the entrance fee, it cost about five dollars and now going up the elevator I took my passport though at the entrance. One thing that I've noticed in uh, Ethiopia and Kenya is security is super tight. You have to go through like, I had to go through two security checks here, two x-ray scanners just to get into a hotel. Super harsh security, so just uh, if you're coming, uh, be prepared to be, uh, be prepared to be searched a lot and uh, have to give up your passport from time to time. 18, no. All right guys, in the elevator going up to the 27th floor, all the way to the top. 27th floor. Hello. Is this to the top? Yes, I'm in the seat. Ah, okay, yeah. Alright guys, that's the fourth time that I've been checked. My identity's been checked. Security is so tight here. I mean, I'm sure it has its reasons, but it's, it's quite a remarkable, really. I think we're at the top now. have a panorama view of Nairobi. I've read online that they say that Nairobi is like the capital of the whole of Africa so yeah it's full on. It's, it's, it seems a lot more uh, full on than uh, Addis Ababa in Ethiopia if I'm going to be honest. Like so many more people, more traffic, more things going on.
some smog here you can see but just the traffic and the distance and everything it's uh, pretty amazing I found a, a market nearby that I'm gonna go and check out so it should be an interesting market gotta get an Uber it's only 2k's but apparently it's gonna take like a long time in the traffic so wish me luck all right guys just had that coffee there Ethiopian and Kenyan coffee is like so good coffee originated in Ethiopia apparently so this area is coffee central. I'm gonna do another video when I come back to Nairobi because I'm going away tomorrow, but I'm gonna do another video in Nairobi. I'm gonna to go to a coffee farm, I think, or a coffee plantation. That make a whole video about it, it'll be super interesting. That coffee is so good. Hi, sir. Hi, how are you? Good, I'm Nick. Okay, fine. Is that right? Yeah, sure. What's your name? Uh, Stanley. Stanley? Yes, yes. Oh, nice to meet you. How long have you been doing Uber for? Um, like one year now, so I do it part time. Okay. Yeah. What do you do otherwise? Uh, I'm an accountant. Eh? Oh really? Yeah. And so, you have to work in Uber to... Yes, to supplement my... Okay. So... Right now, I'm on some few days off. Eh? From work, my office work. Right. I am an accountant. So, I guess I'm to some of this. Right. Yeah. Are you married? No, no, no. Uh -huh. Not yet. Okay. Hi guys, so I've just arrived at this market. Seems like a vegetable and food market mainly, which is cool. Good, how are you? Okay, I'm just gonna walk around and I'll come back. Maybe some beans. Yeah, I like beans. Okay, thank you. Bye. The lovely people. Anyway, so uh, I put in the Uber this address of this market that my South African friend Milan told me. Uh, to go to. The Uber driver picks me up he's like, why are you going there? And I was like, oh, just the market. He's like, I don't think that's a good idea for you to go there. I was like, why not? He's like, they see your camera. He's like, it looks like an expensive camera. They're going to take it. They will plan. They'll get a group of them together and they'll steal it. They're like, he's pretty much guaranteed that that would happen. And he said that nobody would help me if it did happen. So he's like, I was like, oh, wow. Do you have any other recommendations? And he was like, there's the city market, which is a lot safer, and it's like mainly vegetables, and that's where I am now. So we're gonna walk around here, see some locals, and uh, buy some vegetables. But Stanley, the, the Uber driver there, such a cool guy. Like, it's the second Uber driver out of three that have just been so helpful and kind. And I don't know if you heard, but he's an accountant and an Uber driver on the side, because there's not a demand for accountants in, in Kenya. So let's uh, have a look around this market. It looks super cool. How are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Welcome, take a picture here. A picture? Yeah, take a picture. You also take me, man. It's video. Yeah, it's a video. Yeah. Can I talk? What can I say? Uh, say anything. Welcome oh. to Nairobi or... Let me, let me first pick this one. Alright. Can I get some tomatoes? Yeah. What's the price? 100 a kg. Okay. And yeah. what about... Can I get uh, 500 grams for 50? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Right one, sir. You can right please. Right, please. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, these are the very sweet orange. I can't even cut one to test. Very sweet. They are from Voy. Yeah, man. I'll get an orange. An orange. Right. Papaya? Uh, no, thank you. No, I'm not really a fruit guy. I'm a oh, vegetable you don't like guy. Fruit. Yeah. Okay, that's vegetable. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? Uh, traveling. Traveling. You are on Malaysia. You are for. Uh, you are from which country? New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. New Zealand in which continent? Uh, it's ne near Australia. Oh, near Australia. Down. Oh, New Zealand. Near Very far. New Zealand. So you have been here how many days? I got here yesterday. Yesterday? Yeah. Oh, so this is your next? First day. First day here. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. And, and you're I... alone. You don't have even a boat guard here. Nah. You're okay. You could kill me right now. <laughs> yeah, I can shoot you. <laughs> 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 My name is John. John? Yeah. Okay, I'm Nick. Nick. Yeah. You're much welcome. Nice to meet you. This is Penina. Penina. Yeah. Thank you, Penina. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're much welcome, Nick. Take care. You are leaving. No, I'm, I'm just traveling. Oh, you're just traveling. Now, where are you heading to? Uh, walking and then home and then tomorrow uh, plane to Mombasa. Oh, Mombasa. Yeah. Oh, you're okay. going to the beach now? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. All right, John. Okay. Thank you. Nick, nice All right, time. Penny. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See how cool the locals are. So I got these two, apparently, of the sweetest oranges in the world and uh, some tomatoes. This whole thing cost me one dollar, so it's pretty good. So yeah, let's see what else we can come across. Hi. Take a picture, take a picture. Of you? Yeah. A video? Yeah. <laughs> what have you got there? It's called Doody. Doody? Yes. 
What's a doody? It is a vegetable. African vegetable? Yeah, African vegetable. Indian vegetable, African. Ah, oh, okay. You slice and then you put in the stew. How much for the eggplant? 80 shillings. For one kilo? One kilo. Can I get uh, like no. three of these? Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah? You keep that bag, I, I don't need. No, you don't need no. the bag. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, you have okra? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, you got everything. <laughs> Do you see many foreigners here? Yeah, yes. Yeah? Almost like uh, Asians. Asians? Yeah, okay. you, uh, me. Muzungus. <laughs> yes. Muzungu. Yeah, Muzungu. What's Muzungu? Is that Muzungu white is, person? Uh, white, white people. Uh, they call them Muzungu. Uh, even uh, Germans, France. Germans, yeah. yeah. What about New Zealand? Yeah, even New Zealand. Really? Yeah, even the, I remember I sold, uh, I sold to a woman, a lady and a guy okay. who came from New Zealand. Oh, wow. Uh, and they had kids, like four of them. Really? Mm. That's amazing. Mm. This is my shop from Denver. I sell vegetables. You are free to come. Thank you, sir. And, and I sell fresh vegetables. Gigi, right? Yeah, Gigi. Right. Nice to meet you. Uh, Bye-bye. Nice to meet you, too. Take care. Uh, no, thank you. Alright guys, I just bought some avocados. I got two for 50 Kenyan shilling. The exchange rate is super easy to figure out here. Uh, it's basically 100 Kenyan shilling equals one USD. So it's basically the best exchange rate that you can imagine in terms of being able to figure it out easily. That was two avocados, two big fresh avocados for 50 cents, which is unbelievable. I told him uh, in my country how much they cost. I said in New Zealand, sometimes they charge four dollars for one avocado depending on the season. Are you mad? So that's 400 shillings, I told him, because here you can get four for one dollar. And he was just, his mouth dropped and he was like, are you crazy? He's like, can we set up a business and I'll send you the avocados, you sell them and we'll uh, make a distributing business for avocados. <laughs> Why don't you take one cake? Because uh, I'm leaving tomorrow, so I don't need many. Yeah, thank you. Next time I come back. Welcome. Alright guys, got some beans, some okras, some avocados, and some eggplant, and some oranges and some tomatoes. So I think I'm set. Pretty cool experience with some of the locals. Super kind people at this market, for sure. Um, the rain's coming, and the Uber driver said, we want to get home before the rain, because when it rains, the traffic goes absolutely crazy. So, so I'm going to try and get an Uber, uh, and back to the apartment, and maybe find a supermarket. See if we can navigate our way through the mayhem of this traffic, and then we'll talk more in a minute. Hi, sir. Hi, How are you? Okay. Good. Alright guys, so I have arrived back at the house. That traffic was nuts. Uh, it took like maybe an hour or so to drive three and a half kilometers. Stopped off at the supermarket and got a few things. I'll show you what I uh, got today on our little adventure. So we got the okras here from that guy. This whole bag, this is apparently 500 grams. It seems like more, but this was 50 US cents for all that. All these eggplants, 10 cents. Two massive, nicely ripe avocados. 50 cents for two, so 25 cents each. These cost $1 for, I think it was like 400 grams, so pretty big bag there. Tomatoes were 50 cents. These two fresh oranges, 50 cents. And then I went to the supermarket, I got some water. These are 65 cents each. Uh, some soda water, I think they were similar prices to the water. Here we have Iron Brew, guys. If you don't know what Iron Brew is, it's a Scottish carbonated soda drink. I spent a few years in Scotland 
growing up. As a family, we would always get this drink and to see it in Africa is amazing because I've never seen it outside of the UK unless it's in specialty shops. It's super cool to see that. I had to get three, you know. Right now, I'll show you around this Airbnb and tell you how much it costs. So this is the front door. We see we've got two locks here. You come in, you've got a kitchen on the left-hand side here. I think it's quite newly renovated. I mean, it's not outdated or anything. Super cool fridge. Uh, nice big bed. Over here, we've got a, a little kind of sitting area with some outdoor furniture. Out here, like I showed you this morning, that's the view down onto the traffic below. It's pretty funny actually, the Uber driver was like, when I saw you were a foreigner and I saw the address, I was wondering what you were doing there. And uh, I was like, why is it a, a dangerous area? Because I just wanted to get his perspective and he said the name of the neighborhood and just laughed. And I was like, right. <laughs> And so when I came in, when he opens the door, it's like a, a dash to try and get into the building. I really don't know though, you know, I, the only things I'm going off here is what people have told me. But when so many people are telling me it's dangerous, it's dangerous from so many different people, then I, I kind of start to believe it. Getting out of the Uber, Uber parked right next to the door of this building, dash in and the security guards meet you and they're like, oh, well you made it back. So yeah, and then we've got a bathroom through here um, and a shower. Apart from the stained sheets, everything's good. What the hell did you just say? So the price of this place is, I think it's around 26 to 30 USD a night. Pretty interesting day guys. Met some really, really lovely, nice locals and went up on top of that tower. That was really nice. Bought some fresh Kenyan produce. Anyway guys, I'm gonna finish the video there. Nice to be in Kenya. Completely different to Ethiopia actually. I thought they might be quite similar, but a lot different actually. Um, but I'll go into more detail and as we explore more, I can't judge the whole country on Nairobi obviously. And uh, I know by this video and what I've been saying and things that you might get the, the impression that Nairobi might be a super dangerous place, but I haven't had no issues whatsoever. So that must say something. I've been told and warned about certain things, but as far as seeing anything, I've had no issues. I've met the kindest people, the Uber drivers that I've met have all been so super cool and nice and good English because English is actually a, an official language of Kenya. You can get pie with English absolutely fine, like everybody speaks it. So that's super handy, makes things a, a lot easier. Anyway guys, enough talking in case I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening and good night. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>